Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Roseanne returning with priceless new revenge show Libs will hate, ratings will skyrocket. Roseanne Barr isn't letting leftist win when it comes to her TV career. The successful actress has had a lot of setbacks thanks to the leftist who only want to see her fail because of her unapologetic support for President Donald J. Trump. Barr had a long career on ABC with her famous sitcom Roseanne where she played a 90s middle-class American mom trying to keep her house full of misfits in order, and still spend time with her husband Dan. After the show was cancelled in 1997 ABC decided to bring back the show and with the original cast in November of 2017. The show revived its 10th season with 18.44 million people tuning in. The show was short-lived after Roseanne tweeted out Muslim Brotherhood and Planet of the Apes had a baby equals VJ. VJ referring to Valerie Jarrett. The left exploded, and accused Roseanne of being a racist, and called on ABC to terminate Roseanne. The left won, and Barr was fired. Not only was that devastating news to Roseanne Barr, but devastating to millions of Americans who loved the show's revival because it actually showed what life is really like in middle-class America. Everything else is politically correct garbage that hardly makes it past the first season. Roseanne apologized to Valerie Jarrett, but that wasn't good enough. Now, ABC is keeping the season going, but excluding Barr from being on the show. We know exactly where those ratings are heading. Roseanne is now coming back to television in a new way that is sure to piss liberals off. The actress and comedian have spent the last week filming interviews and producing content for a new show, and she insists that her I Thought the Bitch Was White ran on Valerie Jarrett, is just a sample of what viewers can expect, Breitbart reports. TMZ reports that, Roseanne Barr is hard at work, creating her own content where she gets to call all the shots, and that I Thought the Bitch Was White ran is a sneak peek of what's to come, TMZ has learned. Barr's been holed up in her son Jake Pentland's full moon and high tide studio all week shooting interviews with friends and family members. Jake tells us guests include himself, Barr's boyfriend, former Roseanne crew member Alan Stefan and her former campaign manager Thomas Muhammad, who is black and Muslim. Jake says the plan is to release the content on Roseanne's YouTube channel without any big networks getting involved. He says that's the only way to get a truly unfiltered and unedited version of his mom. As for that bombastic clip of Roseanne revisiting her Valerie Jarrett tweet, Jake tells us that was 100% genuine and the result of a lot of hours spent in the studio. They don't have a name for the show yet, or a release date. Let's see how long it takes before the media starts calling Roseanne unhinged or a Nazi sympathizer. You, and I both know they're good at calling other people out for exactly what they're doing themselves. According to People since ABC cancelled the Roseanne reboot following series creator Barr's controversial tweet about Valerie Jarrett in May, the 65-year-old actress has been focusing her energy on creating content of her own. In a short NSFW video, Barr looks disordered and distressed as she smokes a cigarette while arguing with a male producer about the editing of a previous video, one that was apparently cut together from multiple shots and showed Barr wearing different outfits. Soon, the agitated star brings up the since-deleted tweet in which she likened Jarrett a black former advisor to Barack Obama, to a nape. I'm trying to talk about Iran. I'm trying to talk about Valerie Jarrett about the Iran deal. That's what my tweet was about, Barr screamed. I thought the bitch was white. She said, getting even louder. God damn it, I thought the bitch was white. F. The video was a far cry from the other comments Barr has made about the tweet in the wake of the backlash. She first appeared repentant claiming that she didn't know Jared is black and that she was on Ambien while tweeting. Barr also defended herself from accusations of racism. I'm not a racist, I never was and I never will be, she tweeted in May. One stupid joke in a lifetime of fighting for civil rights for all minorities, against networks, studios, at the expense of my nervous system slash family slash wealth will never be taken from me. She later explained that her tweet which described Jared as a cross between the Muslim Brotherhood and Planet of the Apes, was actually commentary on anti-Semitism. Rod Serling wrote Planet of the Apes. It was about anti-Semitism, Barr tweeted. That is what my tweet referred to, the anti-Semitism of the Iran deal. Low IQ PPL can think whatever they want. Barr has since said she won't be doing any TV interviews and will instead be filming and posting videos to her YouTube channel. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.